So I've shown you an example whereby we had 172.16.00 slash 23, and then 2.0 slash 23, and then 4.0 slash 23, and so on and so forth. But the question now is, how do we figure this out? Well, before I show you how to figure that out, what we're truly doing here is we are trying to find the progression of numbers between each of the subnet IDs. So in this particular scenario here, what is the progression between the different subnet IDs? What's the progression? 172.16.00 slash 23, 172.16.2.0 slash 23, 4.0 slash 23, 6.0, 8.0, 10.0. This progression is going to be different, again, based on the subnet mask. So it's exclusively based on subnet masks here. Something to keep in mind. Exclusively based on subnet masks. So in this scenario, this is the progression because it's a slash 23. What we call this is the block size. So what is the size of our blocks here, folks? Two? Did you say two? You're right. Zero, two. Four, six, eight, ten. We're counting by two. That's what we're doing. Our block size is two. And in what octet specifically is this, folks? Is it octet number one, octet number two, octet number three, or octet number four? Octet number three, that's right. So in this case, we can say our block size is two within the third octet. So we're counting by two in the third octet. Remember, in this scenario, we created 128 subnets. 128 subnets. So we said the first four subnets was 0, 2, 4, 6. Well, then the fifth subnet's 8. Six subnets, 10. Then 12, then 14, then 16, then 18, then 20, then 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54. You see, I'm able to figure out all the subnets now. Just like that. Once you figure out the block size, you can figure out all the subnets. Pretty nifty. So I want to show you two examples. I'm going to show you two different methods. Block size method one and block size method two that is going to assist you in figuring out what is each of the subnet IDs. Because once you figure out the block size, you're going to be able to figure out your subnet IDs.